Hi, I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, and I'm going to talk to you today about how to adjust the height of a circular saw. Most circular saws today uh, have very similar design types. You can hardly tell one from another. The basic features are all the same. And what we need to do uh, in this instance is adjust the height of the shoe in relation to where the blade is so we can get more or less of a cut. And that's done with a lever generally on the back near the back handle. In this case, it's a pretty obvious lever. We're just going to lift it up to loosen it. We're going to adjust the height of the shoe and then lock it back down. And it's easy to see the whole adjustment from the front here, where you can actually see the shoe moving in relation to the blade. The same basic rule applies for a circular saw as it does on a table saw, and that's um, having about one tooth sticking up above the thickness of your stock. And a lot of times I'll just do that with my stock, lay this piece of stock on the saw, or lay a saw on the stock if I'm cutting sheet stock. And set it there, adjust it. If I were going to cut this piece, I could set the saw on, get it to where I wanted it, make sure that there is a tooth sticking down below my blade, and then lock it in place. And that's how you adjust the height of the blade on your circular saw. I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, the fine art of furniture making.